There is a new commissioner of police. He is a seasoned veteran who has already served 37 years in the force, heading key areas of policing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Clint Watson, sitting in for LaDawn Davis, who has the week off. Welcome to the Bahamas tonight. The new commissioner of police has been acting in the role for more than three months, and now he officially heads the country's largest security force. This after a time-honored tradition of a handover ceremony. Our Altavis Mondays was at police headquarters, and she joins me live in studio tonight with details of the historic event. Good Good evening, Altavis. Good evening, Clint, and good evening, Bahamas. Well, handing over ceremonies for the Office of the Commissioner of the Royal Bahamas Police Force dates back to the 1800s. And we can tell you that in 2017, the pomp and pageantry was no different, as Anthony Ferguson became the seventh commissioner of the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Anthony Ferguson is a decorated police officer who began his career in 1980. He elevated through the ranks to deputy police commissioner and his previous post as acting commissioner. He said at the handing over ceremony Monday afternoon that he was humbled that a native of Mount Thompson Exuma could ascend to the highest position in the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Our mandate, which is to maintain law and order, to preserve the peace, to prevent and detect crime, to apprehend offenders and to enforce the laws will be carried out with respect, professionalism, knowledge, fairness, and firmness. Now retired Commissioner Ellison Greenslade leaves the Royal Bahamas Police Force for the diplomatic service after serving in the leadership position for seven years. He said he's confident he is leaving the police force in good hands. He brought his manners and respect with him when he joined the force. And so it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you, uh, Anthony Ferguson, as you assume the office of commissioner. I wish you the very best, and I offer you my support now and into the future. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis congratulated the former and current commissioners of police. The Prime Minister said, though, he anticipates the new leadership change to bring about change in crime. Our fight against crime and corruption must be comprehensive and vigorous to help transform the prospects and lives of those in gangs or those minded to criminal behavior, my government will introduce a number of ambitious social intervention and training programs. Even as we remain tough on crime, those who are open to being helped will be helped. But those who decide on a life of crime and who seek to do violence will feel the full weight of the law. And Clint, as Commissioner Ferguson is now in possession of his instruments of appointment and the Commissioner's sword, his work has already begun. And we here at ZNS News want to congratulate Anthony Ferguson and Elson Greenslade on a job well done. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Altavis Munnings. Back to you, Clint. Thanks a lot, Altavis. You've had a long day. Well, after the handover ceremony, the former police commissioner says he was not forced out of office. I was not forced out of the Royal Bahamas Police Force. I enjoy the full confidence of the current Prime Minister, Mr. Hubert de Minnis. I enjoyed the full confidence of the former Prime Minister, Mr. Perry Gladstone Christie. I enjoyed the full confidence of, of former Prime Minister, Mr. Hubert Alexander Ingram, who in fact appointed me on an FNM government. And at no time do I recall having any conversations privately or publicly with any of those three Prime Ministers where I perceived any disrespect offered to me. I was offered an appointment as the High Commissioner Resident, High Commissioner to the United Kingdom and a non-resident ambassador to a number of countries in, Euro in Europe. Very, a very important posting. Something known as an agrama must be sent from the sending state, that is the Bahamas, to the receiving state, in this instance, England, asking if they would accept the nominee. Had I spoken out of turn, had Commissioner spoken out of turn, had Minister Dame spoken out of turn, or the Minister of Foreign Affairs, we would have had a challenge. And that could have been embarrassing to me, in the first instance, and my family, and then, of course, to the country. 